Hey guys, and happy Tuesday. So I wanted to quickly hop on and share with you a long overdue Harper James haul. And this was a pre-order that I just decided to go in on last minute because I didn't even know that she had picked one, Mary is the owner, and she had picked one of my custom blends that I put in to vote, I guess. Um, what I do like about other vendors is they kind of let you know if they pick your blend and then they say, hey, this blend was created by so-and-so. And, -so. and um, I don't know if she did that and I kind of was surprised. So anyway, this kind of was like an impromptu order considering I saw my blend was in there. So um I got a mixture, I primarily got brownie bags because her brownie bags perform better for me in my home, in my open concept and in my smaller spaces. I typically use one full brownie square and then I added a snap bar in my blend that got, um, I guess, picked. So let's just dive in. Uh, let's see here. So gonna try to go in order but I don't know where it is here it is so the first one I picked up and I think this was from Michelle um, and I can't remember the name of her channel but this was one of her blends that got voted in and this is all is calm this is lavender mixed berries butter cookies buttercream frosting and a hint of peppermint and I really kind of like that she's starting to put the pour dates on there because it makes it easier kind of just for attracting purposes and this is good. Right off the bat, you get a really light lavender, but those berries are prominent. It's good. It's a very creamy lavender berry with that butter cookie. It's good. It's very different. I kind of get like a lavender butter cookie with that berry. I don't know what kind of berries are in the mixed berries, but it's different. Um, I don't know if this is bedroom bathroom. I mean, you could if you wanted to. But I think this would primarily be, it actually kind of goes with my wall. Um, this would probably be more of a open concept note for me. I don't know. Let me smell it again because the berry note. Hmm. I would say more of a open concept. But that is all is calm. The next one I got, which is Snowy Nights. And this one's good. I went back to go see if I can get some more. But there was none. Really cute label cute that label is and this one was poured on 11 22 23 sandalwood toasted marshmallow roasted pine cone and sugar cookie oh so good it smells so good I, I already smell these this is really good you get that sandalwood you get that toasted marshmallow the roasted pine cone it's almost it's not but almost similar to fireside cookies from salt mountain melts this one has a little more sandalwood so it kind of can be bedroom bathroom open concept worthy i feel like fireside cookies is more of like open concept but the sandalwood in here makes it a little more creamier and makes it more kind of romantic for a bedroom bathroom but this is good this is really good I don't know who put that in as a blend, but I think this was a custom as well. This one was really, really good. It smells really good. All right, the next one is Summertime Snacking, and I really didn't need any more summertime scents from her, but I think mean, this was also a Michelle one. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Buttercream Frosting, Sugar Cookie, Lemon Pound Cake, and Pretzel, and I love her Strawberry Pound Cake and her Lemon Pound Cake. So cute that is. So this will be more of a summertime blend for me. I really don't need any more. And this is really good. You get that creamy strawberry pound cake from our, you get that lemon hint, very light hint of her pretzel because it's almost kind of feeling naughty. I think it's her it's pretzel blend. This kind of almost smells like Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles to me. But that will be a nice spring summertime blend that will hold off. And this one, she put a pour date on the bottom too, 1123. So that one was a last minute ad. I was like, I don't need any more summer blends. Um, then I got Palo's Sugar Shop. 
This is Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside, Cinnamon Sugar Donut, Buttercream, and Sugar Cookie Royale. Again, I don't need any more Palo ones either. And this is really good. You get a lot of Palo Santo. It's similar to Donut Shop Palo um, from Beth's Bravo, Lavender and Speckles. But this one is definitely heavier on Palo than that blend. It's not bad. It's just I get a very light hint of cinnamon. A little bit of the buttercream. Maybe it's the marshmallow fireside that it's making it stronger with the Palo. But that is... Sugar Shop. All right. And then my blend. So my custom, I already warmed one cube, is Grandma's Butter Cookies. And this is butter, vanilla, and sprinkles. And I know she put the picture of like the Danish butter cookie, but when I came up with this creation, I really wanted a vanilla butter cookie scent. And there, there's a tradition in my house that I used to make butter cookies and cookies with my grandma, grandmother every year. And the tradition continues with all the girls in the family, my sister, my mom, my niece, and now my daughter. And so when I think of Christmas, I think of my mom and my grandmother's traditional grandma's butter cookies. And so it literally in that recipe is just sticks of butter, vanilla, and then we put sprinkles on top. And so that's what my idea was going into this. And this is just creamy vanilla and butter. It's good. And it was pretty strong here in this my office here. I just put one cube in the Christmas tree warmer of Scentsy, the green one that's the November warmer of the month. This is good. So I, anyway, I got, I think I got two bags of the brownies and a snap bar. So that was, I picked up extra because I knew it was my blend. So those are those. And then I picked up a Bringing Sexy Back. I can't remember her, her name. I thought it was like a Kristen or a Christine. I can't remember. I could be totally wrong, but I thought she put these in. This is Cashmere Cedar, Egyptian Musk, Lavender, and Vanilla Lace. And I was kind of apprehensive about this one because of the cedar. But I kind of, I'm on the fence when it comes to Vanilla Lace, but I like Egyptian Musk and Lavender. And this is very perfumey. You get a herbal lavender, very herbal. So all I'm getting is that cedar, the herbal lavender, some musk, very light musk. The cedar and the lavender takes over this blend. So if you don't like lavender, don't get this. All I'm getting is that heavy cedar and lavender. So maybe on warm, you'll get more of that vanilla lace in the Egyptian musk. That is definitely a bedroom bathroom scent for me, not open concept. I don't like that stuff in my open concept. And the last one is Cozy Snacking in Bed. And this one is Lavender Strawberry Pound Cake, Buttermint, and Toasted Marshmallow. And this is more of a sweet lavender. You get the strawberry pound cake with lavender. The buttermint, if you've ever had her buttermint before, it's a pretty strong oil. So you definitely have to like buttermint too for this blend. But you get a very, very light hint of the strawberry pound cake, the toasted marshmallow, and the lavender. The lavender and the buttermint kind of takes over this blend. But that's cozy snacking in bed. So, yeah. So... I went in again, wasn't expecting this pre-order was on 11-8 and then I think it shipped right after Thanksgiving. So it was it a very fast turnaround time um, and I didn't go too crazy. I probably should have, I kept it like typically 50, 60 bucks, but I do like her brownie bags. I seem to kind of go through them more than her snap bars because I have tons of snap bars back there. But the only reason why I got this one because it was my blend. So if you were able to pick up my blend, let me know what you think. Um, and that is Grandma's Butter Cookies.